Hey, what's up? This is me, Jamal Clark, and here I'm talking to you all about uh, the NCAA pay-for-play situation. Now, those of you not familiar with the term pay-for-play, this usually means when a college coach, a uh, booster, alumni, player, try to bring in a high school athlete by any means necessary. Now, that's really no big secret that current and future college athletes are taken care of with more than just a scholarship and receive extra benefit for their talent that they bring to the university. But the question remains, do they deserve a piece of the revenue that they help bring in? Let's take a closer look. College football is a well-known watch sport in America. It is a showcase of future NFL stars displaying their talents for the university. According to HBO's Real Sports with Brian Gumbel, the money being generated from the college football games on Saturdays are well in the millions and possibly billions based on attendance, TV contracts, and championships. While coaches and other staff members are negotiating contracts, players are given only a renewal of their scholarship. Recently, the pay-for-play situation has been brought to the light, mainly with Auburn University. Reports from HBO's Real Sports with Brian Gumbel also showed that ex-Auburn players Stanley McClover, Troy Reddick, Chaz Ramsey, and Raven Gray received cash payments in book bags, envelopes, and even handshakes, which boosters would come up to them after games given with the money in hand. Now, college basketball is just as popular as college football, but their use for pay for play and recruiting are far more extreme. College basketball coaches will recruit a player as early as 12 years old. Now, unlike football, a college basketball roster will hold 15 players rather than a football's 80 man roster. This means some college coaches will go to the limit to recruit the best players that money can buy. The pay for play situation has even been brought to the big screen. In the early and late 1990s, two movies highlighted the situation. The first movie was in 1994 with the movie Blue Chips, starring Nick Nolte, former NBA star Anthony Penny Hardaway, and current NBA star Shaquille O'Neal. The movie was about a coach on the brink of losing his head coaching job after a losing season. In an effort to save his job, the coach decides to recruit and persuade three athletes in which one wanted $30,000, another was offered a car but refused to take it, and another wanted a house and new job for his mom. The second movie came in 1997 with Spike Lee's He Got Game. The movie focused on high school basketball phenom Jesus Shuttlesworth, played by current NBA star Ray Allen. In the movie, he is offered everything from women, a car, and money to come play at a big school. Taken into serious consideration by the NCAA and others that players should be able to receive money that they help bring in. Only time will tell.